In this video, we'll demonstrate the top serviceability of a Rainbird 751 full circle part circle rotor. We'll work our way through the rotor, starting with the case, the pressure regulating stem and selector assembly, the snap ring, and then work our way down through the internal, the valve, and finally the rock screen. The case itself has been designed with a rounded flange edge to allow field maintenance equipment to pass over the rotor without causing any damage. Let us discuss the pressure regulation system first. The selector assembly was designed to quickly shut down the rotor if necessary. The first position is auto, the middle position is off, and the last position is on, so that you don't need to pass on to move from auto to off. At the factory, the pressure is set digitally, depending on the field requirements. This pressure setting can also be easily changed in the field using a small flathead screwdriver. Every full turn will increase or decrease the pressure by roughly 10 PSI. Turning the screw clockwise will increase the pressure, and turning it counterclockwise will decrease it. Next, let's demonstrate how to take the PRS assembly apart. Here is the PRS nut. This is the PRS cartridge, which houses the pressure adjustment screw, the selector stem, the porting holes, and the filter. You can see the selector seal at the bottom of the PRS housing. Let's discuss the top serviceability of the internal. The internal has two stems. This white stem changes the rotor from full circle mode to part circle mode. The black stem is for arc adjustment. Turning it clockwise will decrease the arc, and turning it counterclockwise will increase it. Every full turn of the stem results in roughly a 20 degree arc change. Arc adjustment can, of course, be made without removing the snap ring. Next, let's take a look at the snap ring. It's a single snap ring design, which allows for safety and ease of serviceability. The snap ring holds the internal in place. It is easy to remove the internal. At this point, you can access the nozzle for nozzle changes. Be sure to adjust the stator and poppet configurations for optimal performance. Next, we'll remove the valve. The valve has two snap rings at the bottom to maintain safety and durability. Remove these snap rings individually in order to remove the valve. Notice that this can be done with very few tools. Let's review some features of the valve. The valve seal helps seal it to the seat on the rock screen. The valve seal can be flipped and reused one time. After that, it must be replaced. The valve also has a removable filter, which can be cleaned or replaced if necessary. The valve stem can be removed for cleaning as well and has a replaceable O-ring. Next, we'll remove the top serviceable rock screen. This procedure requires a special tool, which fits onto the end of an extension rod that goes into the case and fits over the rock screen. Use a ratchet to unscrew the rock screen and remove it from the case. The valve seal sits on top of the rock screen. The ability to replace the rock seat from the top of the sprinkler when damaged without digging is a patent protected design. The rock screen is also removable for easy maintenance and line flushing. Now we will demonstrate how to reassemble the rotor. First, let us reinstall the top serviceable rock screen. Dislodge the tool from the rock screen with a rolling action. In the valve insertion tool, set the snap rings first followed by the valve. Orient the stem towards the PRS assembly and insert the valve with a tap. Next, reinstall the internal at the desired orientation, then the snap ring. Now let's reinstall the PRS assembly. Orient the cartridge so that the selector is in the off position. Tighten the PRS nut. This is how you remove and reinstall the top serviceable components in a Rainbird 751 rotor. Top serviceability allows access from the top of the rotor to parts that may wear out, minimizing any digging that may be required. 
Top serviceability makes Rainbird rotors very easy to service in the field. If any of the components ever get damaged, they can easily be replaced without having to replace the entire case. Thank you for watching.